Hey guys, today I will show you Hitman 3 VR Reloaded on the MetaQuest 3. And why this is even worse than the other versions on PC VR and PlayStation VR, I will show you in this video. But there's a small glimpse of hope. I will show it to you at the end of the video. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR. Thank you to my sponsors, Voodoo's VR, Open Events, Virtual Escape Area 1 at Virtual Reality Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go. Voodoo.de Okay guys, welcome to the game, or whatever you want to call this, because it's a disaster, yeah? I must be honest. Look, I mean, the first thing is the graphics. I, I can already tell you inside the headset, it looks even worse than what you see in the video. So for example, I don't know if you can see it in the video, everything in the background is ultra, ultra, ultra blurry. Yeah, it looks like if that was released like 20 years ago, this would, I would even uh, complain about this, yeah? And also here, look at the textures here. This is just insane. I've never seen that before, yeah? Wow. <laughs> and uh, we, can, we can check out the options if you like. So we have some, some stuff here. So, sorry, everything's in German. So some common stuff where we can do like instinct uh, and, and so on, yeah? Um, oh man, this is insane. Then we have the, some HUD elements that you can uh, show or even not, even though the buttons do not, I mean, look at this, how, how laggy that even is. Yeah. It doesn't, it, it's so laggy that you can't even uh, focus on, on some stuff. Here's like smooth turn, snap turn, the ankle of turning, uh, head based movement and all that stuff. Yeah. So yeah, you have some options. So let's, let's go. 47. Come in. 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. So yeah, here's the first thing. You, you always have to push like buttons, like now push the A button. Yeah? And look at this, it's, even the birds are so blurry. Look at, at the aliasing effects. It looks, this is never a Quest 3 version, yeah? And now check out the pop-ups of the objects. Look at this plate here where this, anchor is attached look at look at this focus here you see the, the objects popping on off Pocket here look at this and now look at uh, look at the screws look at the screws <laughs> they are popping out like two meters in front of me what the heck yeah and now look at this here. We can climb by hitting the A button or at least they implement something. I, I push the grip button now once. And now I don't see my hands anymore. I just have to do like some, I can all, uh, do like uh, yeah, the movement only with my right uh, grip. <laughs> it, it is, I've never seen such unimmersive stuff, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> You don't even see your hands anymore. Yeah. And now push the button again. So, push the button. Hmm. Locked. 47, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the Windows controls from here. So, and now we have to open the nice menu. <laughs> Hello. Click the X button. And this here, you don't even have a laser pointer or hands or anything. And, and look how ugly this menu is. It looks like, yeah, a flat game. Like I have a gamepad in my hands and you can switch that here. And then you have to, s it, it doesn't even work when you, uh, it says uh, camera equip right on A button. And I hit the A button and nothing happens. Nothing happens, yeah. So uh, then uh, I, I can, Tried with the other hand and now it works, yeah? And now I get it close to my head and now he's switching to a 2D, like a, a flat vision, yeah? <laughs> it's crazy. Look at the lights in the background, they are popping like uh, some meters in front of me. Crazy. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. 
We are so Yo, close. shut up. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. So this is one I, I love. They they uh, watched it from Half-Life Elix. But uh, I mean, when you put that here, uh, it, it's like an ugly icon. Yeah, but still. And now look at the whatever machines there in the in the back. Look at this. <laughs> Even the textures of that is are popping like uh, two meters in front of me. It's crazy. And now it says uh, climb. But uh, there seems to be some weird bugs, like uh, you cannot push the A button. Now you have to do like a climb movement, but you don't even see something. It's crazy. Look at this. Look at the bottles here. You see them? They are popping out like two meters in front of me. <laughs> but I, I can tell you, uh, uh, please wait for my conclusion at the end of the video. I will tell you something about this. Push the A button. Yeah, so no immersion at all. Look at the background. Everything is blurry and you don't even see what that is. And look at the desk here. Look at the desk. There is nothing on the desk, right? I get closer. Here. <laughs> Do you see that? Do you see the bottles? <laughs> Crazy. And look at the faces of the people. Crazy, right? And look at uh, the, the red whatever banners or what that is. You can't even see that. And you can't even see that when you get close. Look at this. I, I will get close to the whatever that is. I think these are flowers or so. I hope you can see it in the video. It's like, I don't know what that is. It's like a pixel hell or so. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. And look at um, the clothes of this guy here. Look at the clothes of this guy. Even that is popping out and that what he held in, the, in his hand. And look at the people on the stage here now. Look at this. They are popping. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> Crazy. And try to see their faces in the background. There is nothing you can see. Only blurry stuff. Yeah. Hello, sir. Look at the desk here. Look at the desk. It's an absolute disaster. Also, it has a lot of performance uh, problems. Uh, sometimes it's stuttering. Look at the person in the background that's going down the stairs. You see that? It's like, it looks like it has like uh, five frames per second or so. And only when they get closer, they move smooth. Like now. Wow. Uh, on the Y button, we can see our goal, where we have to kill, uh, assassinate those guys. Um, so I will show you. Uh, I don't want you to sneak right now, because I just want to show you how, uh, how it's done. Where is this guy? I think it's he's around the corner or so. Should be some. He's there. Let's let's go there. It's just insane. Somewhere here. Hey you! You are off. Hey you! Stop! No, I don't stop. Where's this guy? Any news on the new guard Oh, I think they are. I got word that he entered the building, but he doesn't report. They're looking for me, right? What's going on? There he is. Oh shit, they're shooting. And now I can try to uh, use the my only weapon like here. And look at this now. Look at this. I don't do anything. Maybe you can help. Oh now, oh yeah, now it's he's doing that. Now, I I don't do anything, so it's not not really immersive, yeah. Whoa, shit! And here's my weapon, yeah. That's the only thing that looks pretty good, but I will. 
Grenade! Shit. And I, I showed you the, the remo- oh. Look! The reloading animation. You see that? It's just, I don't move my hands and I push the reload button. It, it plays an animation and it, my hands are completely at different positions. This, this feels so unimmersive. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen this before. So in every corner, in every detail of the game, you see that they didn't make a VR game. They just wanted to push something out as fast as possible. The only thing is the tracked weapon. That's the only thing that feels immersive. Yeah, guys, whatever. Yeah, we are dead now. Uh, I will definitely not play this game. It's just a disaster. <laughs> so, but I have to tell you something about the patch. So let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Okay, guys, Hitman 3 VR Reloaded. So this is... I don't even know why there is a VR in this name. <laughs> because there is no immersion. Yeah, everything... I mean, starting with the graphics, it's really... Ugly, and we all know the Quest 3 can do much better. Look at Red Matter 2 or so. Yeah, it looks very bad on Quest 3. It's even worse than all other platforms, and the Quest 3 de deserves much better graphics. Yeah, um, I must be honest. There will be a patch. Yeah, and uh, yet now uh, I, I don't have this patch. It will be later, and they sent me a video about this patch. It looks a little bit better now. Yeah, my look at the desk here where the yeah, the, bo the bottles are already there, yeah? So this is a little bit better. So, but here still in the background, there is a blurry stuff, yeah? S still some pop-ups. Look at the lights here. Look at the lights uh, on, there, there are no lights. And when he gets closer now, here in the black area, like now they are popping. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's still a lot of pop-ups. Also, uh, let's check out when uh, there is a woman here. Look at this woman here. L look at her clothes. Like now, N now you see the real clothes. It's still a lot of pop-ups. The crowd li looks a little bit better now with the patch. Yeah, but uh, still, I mean, the, the controls are absolutely no immersive. The, the user interface is ugly like hell. It's made for game pads. Just wait, what was it? Look at the stuff here on the ground. It's also popping out like uh, two seconds before or so. Crazy. So still, guys, this is nothing I can recommend. It Definitely not. It's not a VR game. It's not immersive. And I would say they have a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of work if they want to do like at least a, a little bit of immersion. I must be honest here. I also told them, yeah. And uh, yeah. So if you want 10% off after release, go via my link. But <laughs> I would wait, like for a sale or for an update, uh, doesn't make sense. So guys, um, I really, and what I also have to say is, I checked out the video that I recorded and it looks much better than that what I saw in the, in the video, yeah, in, in my headset, in the headset, yeah. So don't look at my video, Pre uh, try it for yourself and you will see it looks even worse than what you saw in the video. It's crazy. So, guys, I hope you like it. My video, if you yes, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya.